primary teachers, it's Rosemary Jane, and I learned a new tool today from the amazing Lucy Lopez. Um, the virtual manipulatives that are available in the teacher dashboard can be embedded in Schoology, so they can work right there in Schoology. So I love that, and I thought I would just quickly show my team and the rest of you how to use this. So if you are in iReady, and you look in your teacher toolbox, so I'll just go over here to the right to teacher toolbox, and then um, program implementation right there. If you scroll down, you're just looking for digital math tools. Now, why this is nice is as the teacher, you have access to a few more tools because for example, my kindergartners, um, they, whoop, they have only got access to um, the counters, which is a great tool to get started with, but they can get started with the counters that's all that's in there um, I ready. But let's say that you wanted to also use base 10 blocks to represent um, the number. Like I'm representing how many days we've been in school using tens and ones. So I want that as well, as well as counters. And also I want the number line. Um, I wanna use these for teaching and demonstration purposes. Well, what's really cool is I can use these in my teacher links. I can open those links. And I'm gonna open all three. But then I can take those links and I can embed them right into Schoology. And I'm gonna show you two ways that I did that. So within Schoology, what I did um, in my math folder, I just got this little one, two, three button to take them straight into my math folder. Um, I created a folder called Math Manipulatives. And these are all my virtual ones. I'm gonna scroll down to the bottom to show you the simple way. You can literally just add a link and you can take that link from up here. Like if you want the base 10 blocks, you just literally copy and then you paste it in as a link and name it, uh, you know, the name of that tool. So you can add that link like I did here. Uh, so I've got the base 10 blocks, the number line, etc. So the other thing you can do though is you can make a visual. You guys know how I like visuals. All you do is snip it. I took a snip of the base 10 blocks, I took a snip of the number line, and then I'm linking directly to that tool. So um, so I've still got the, the link down here in my Schoology. But I'm just grabbing that link there, base 10 blocks. You can see it's opening right there in Schoology. And I'm just copying that link and attaching it to my snipped picture on a page so that my students get a, just a little bit more of a visual experience. Um, so it's not just the link sitting there. Now, if you'd like to have this, you can have a copy of this template and use it if you want to. Um, but that way your students can click it and they're right there. Uh, you will notice that I put a little note to families at the top that they're going to have to help their child navigate using the previous and next buttons or to go back up to the top. Because when they click on this, um, because it's a link in Schoology, um, you can't add a go home or go back button. You're going to have to teach them to use either the previous up here or just click on the folder right above it, the link right there. Um, but that's a nice way that you can put those iReady tools right into your Schoology course so that you can use them for your teaching and then your students can go back to them. Now, there's a number of ways I could set this up um, if I wanted to make it a part of an activity or, or whatever, or I can just have that folder of math manipulatives sitting right there in my Schoology course. That's the way that I chose to do it. I've got my ReadyMath link right there from Clever. I don't just link to ReadyMath, I link from Clever. And then I've got my virtual math manipulatives right there. All right, so that's it. I hope you find this helpful. I loved my time spent again with Lucy Lopez. She covered all my questions from last Monday's PD and then some, and uh, we explored together how to get these links into Schoology. So that's all I have for you this afternoon. Happy um, online learning. Bye.